Asana helps you manage project, focus on what's important, and organize the work in one place for seamless collaboration with other team members. Very frequently, employers would like to test candidates for their knowledge in task management tools like Asana. They do it to determine how effective people are going to be at work. In this video, I'll share with you some examples of the questions we frequently see on the test. You can also use this test video to just learn about how to use Asana, as I share a lot of practical examples on how to use it. Let's go ahead and get started. Here is an amazing question from the real test. You are getting ready for Agile Retrospective and added two section on Asana board as shown in the picture. What should you do next to get ready? And you have seven different choices to choose from and you need to select all that apply in order. Choice A, no further actions required. Choice B, plan sprint iteration. Choice C, ask team members to add items in preparation for retrospective. Choice D, ask management for direction. Choice E, import agile manifesto. Choice F, develop product increment. And last but not least, choice G, replace question mark Asana section with what can be improved section. Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can get to the correct answer. On my end, I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a different or better way to solve it, please make sure to share in comments. I believe the correct answer here are choices G and C in order. Choice G, replace question mark Asana section with what can be improved section. And then choice C, ask team members to add items in preparation for retrospective. To better understand these choices, let's understand what this question is asking. This question tests your knowledge of Asana as well as your knowledge of Agile methodology. Sequence of steps is also very important here. Let's better understand what is Agile Retrospective. Retrospective has two main goals and objectives. Goal 1. Agile team is trying to improve to be more efficient going forward. And then goal 2 is Agile team is self-organized and no input from management is required. In fact, managerial presence is discouraged during this meeting. The goal of Retrospective exercise is for each member of the team member answer the following three questions. What worked well? What did not work well? and what actions can take to improve going forward. Now you understand why a SANA board is missing the third section. We need to replace question mark with what can be improved section, which is represented by choice G in the answer. Second answer, in choice C, we also need to ask team members to add items in preparation for retrospective. Each team member will have access to the board and will be able to enter items in each category. For example, in what worked well category, team member can enter with standardized quality assurance procedures, and this is exactly what worked well. In what didn't work well section, you might see entries like it took too long to make a decision on integration with new wave storefront. Or you can see the entry, too much time spent in meetings without clear objective and direction. Typically, in the section of what can be improved, you see reactions in the items in what didn't go well section. Our response to the second item in what didn't go well section might be require meeting organizers to publish agenda before the meeting and require team members to self-evaluate if they should participate in the meetings. Let's also look at the items which I believe are incorrect because these are activities unrelated to retrospective. No further actions is required. I think it's purely incorrect because we need to do choices G and C. Choice B. Plan sprint iteration. This is part of planning activities, not part of retrospective activity. Choice D. Ask management for direction. This is not typically what happens as part of the retrospective meeting. In fact, team is self-organizing and discourages management participation so team can freely flow items and share freely without any hesitation. Choice E. Import Agile Manifesto. There is nothing need to be done in this area. Each team member of Agile team should remember Agile Manifesto. And last but not least, choice F, develop product increment, which is also part of PI planning event and not part of the retrospective. This is why I believe the correct answer are choices G and C. Choice G, replace question mark Asana section with what can be improved section. And choice C, ask team members to add items in preparation for retrospective. Do you have a better way to solve it? 
please make sure to post in comments so we can all learn. Here's one of the advanced questions we saw in the test recently. Eddie works as a Scrum Master, and she is redesigning how team manages definition of done in Asana. Which step will not help her to accomplish this objective? And you're presented with seven different choices, and you need to select all that apply in order. Choice A. Update product definition in Asana. Choice B. Update Asana custom fields. Choice C. Make updates by redesigning due dates. Choice D. Update DOD to include non-functional requirements met condition. Choice E. Add a milestone in Asana section for product owner approval. Choice F. Update product increment goals. And choice G. Add a milestone automation test passed. Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can select all the right answers. Did you figure it out? I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution, but obviously if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. Based on my experience, I think correct choices are D, G and E. Choice D, update DOD, which stands for definition of done, to include non-functional requirements met condition. Choice G, add a milestone automation tests passed and choice E, add a milestone in Asana sections for product owner approval. What's interesting about this question is that it tests your knowledge of Asana as well as your knowledge of Agile methodology. And on top of it, there is a negative selection in the question design, where you're being asked which steps will not help her to accomplish this objective. To better understand the answer, let's look at what is definition of done. In classical Agile terminology, Definition of done is the set of criteria that is met for an agile unit of measure to be considered done. And those units of measure are user story, sprint, PI, which stands for product increment, or any other unit of measure in agile methodology. Most of the time, definition of done is represented by a checklist and is used by scrum teams to create a shared understanding of what is required to close the deliverable. Here is the sample, very basic definition of done, which consists of five checklist items. Number one, feature design completed. Number two, unit testing is completed. Number three, automation test passed. Number four, product owner signed off on new features. And last but not least, number five, mobile app passed app store reviews. So how management of definition of done can be accomplished in Asana? If you, for example, need to use choice D and update definition of done to include non-functional requirements met condition, you might decide to make changes in the project planning and definition sections inside Asana. As you can see, this section consists of product increment goals, goals for the sprint, as well as attachment, probably Microsoft Word file, with definition of done. So to make such change and add additional requirement in definition of done list, you would need to add new item in the list similar to the sample I showed you, sample of definition of done. In a very similar way, you can implement choice G, add a requirement for automated test passed. Recommend the choice E, add a milestone for Asana sections for product owner approval is a little bit different. Let's take a close look. For example, we are looking at WooCommerce implementation project in Asana. It has three sections, to do, in progress, and completed. And this is in relevance to the tasks that team completes on the project. What choice E suggests to add milestone in a section for product owner approval will require us to add a new section in between in progress and completed items, which would allow product owner to approve items before they are marked completed. Let's look at choices A, B, C and F to understand why I believe they do not represent the correct answers. Choice A. Update project definition in Asana will change just general settings of Asana project. You can navigate and do it by clicking on the project title and click edit project details. Update Asana custom fields has no impact on definition of done. Choice C, making updates by reassigning due dates will have limited impact on definition of done. And last but not least, choice F, update product increment goals will change the goals for the product increment for PI, but not definition of done. A lot of times, team also maintains project goals in the project planning and definition section, just as a separate item. But updating it has no impact on definition of done. 
Based on everything I shared, I believe the correct answers are choices D, update definition of done to include non-functional requirements met condition, choice G, add a requirement, automation tests passed, and choice E, add a milestone in Asana sections for product owner approval. Do you have a better way to solve this question? Please make sure to post your answers and rationale in comments so we can all learn. Here is the tricky question we frequently see on the test. You are preparing for a stakeholder meeting and would like to make sure Asana project plan is easy to understand, which activities you cannot do in Asana, and you need to select all that apply. Choice A. Group related tasks into sections. Choice B. Calculate current project spend. Choice C. Progress activity into the different next phase of the project. Choice D. Update project objective. Choice E. Invite stakeholders to the meeting. Choice F. Communicate the agenda. And last but not least, choice G. Change the due dates on tasks. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. Maybe give yourself 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can get to the answer. I think this question is designed to trick you. Let's look at my version of the correct answer. I think choices B. Calculate current project spend. Choice D. Update project objective. Choice E. Invite stakeholders to the meeting. As well as choice F. Communicate the agenda. Represent the right answer. Because these are not typically an Asana activities. To understand why this might be the correct choices, let's look at what is stakeholder meeting. Stakeholder meeting is the key event for people interested in the outcomes of the project to help facilitate project information sharing as well as make necessary personnel, financial and general decisions and adjustments and course corrections for the project execution. Some project activities can easily be accomplished in Asana. For example, grouping related tasks into sections. For example, this project has five sections, initiation, planning, execution, monitoring and control, as well as closure, which represent typical project management phases. And you can easily move tasks from one section to another section, which is represented by the choice C in selection of the answers, progress activity into different phase of the project. You can also quickly change due dates on tasks in Asana, which is represented by choice G. For example, defined project goals and objectives has a due date of February 10th, but we can quickly change it to February 24th to make sure this task is not overdue. To correctly answer this question though, you need to select the activities that cannot be done in Asana, which are represented by choices B, D, E and F. Choice B, calculate current project spend, typically done in Excel or using other financial software. Updating and keeping project objective current can be accomplished using Microsoft Word or Google Docs. Inviting stakeholders to the meeting can be done in Outlook and using email. And choice F, communicating project agenda, can be best accomplished by using email or Slack. This is why I selected correct answer as choices B, calculate current project spend, D, update project objective, E, invite stakeholders to the meeting, and F, communicate the agenda. Do you have a better way to solve it? Please make sure to post your answer in comments so we can all learn. I get a lot of questions about how Asana is used at the workplace. Typically, my observation is that organizations use Asana to manage day-to-day -day operations, manage projects, and also use it to run agile and scrum teams. For example, for day-to-day -day activities, Asana has a web app and mobile app and it helps project teams to stay on track. For project work, team can use it to track the project, track individual tasks completion, and integrate it with other tools to achieve successful launches. For agile and scrum projects, companies can plan sprints, manage activities, and visualize the progress. Have you seen any other uses of Asana in the workplace? Please make sure to share in comments. And on my end, I am moving forward to get you ready for the test. Here's the tricky question we frequently see on the test. You were asked to manage network firewall upgrade project in Asana. Which project management activities can be accomplished using Asana tool? And you need to select all that apply out of multiple different choices. Choice A. Conduct kickoff meeting. Choice B. 
define organizational structure. Choice C, share status updates with project stakeholders. Choice D, assign all tasks and subtasks. Choice E, define project level responsibilities. Choice F, finish dependencies on time. And last but not least, choice G, create and manage project budget. Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer. On my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. I think the correct answer here are choices B, D, and F. Choice B, define organizational structure. Choice D, assign all tasks and subtasks. And choice F, finish dependencies on time. Let me explain the correct answer so you can better understand it. Asana is not a jack-of-all-trades tool. It helps you specialize in the particular activities. Specifically, Asana helps you organize and manage projects to stay on track and meet the deadlines. Asana can be used by one person, small teams, or large teams. It is typically used to track project progress, track individual tasks, plan sprints in PI, which stands for product increments, as well as integrate with other tools. Let's take a close look at the activities that can be done in Asana. For example, defining organizational structure inside Asana needs to be only done once during the initial setup. Creating and assigning new tasks and subtasks can also be easily done in Asana. And dependencies could easily be managed inside the Asana using various techniques. Some activities are better managed outside of the Asana. For example, for communication, you can use email or create a new Slack channel. For the kickoff meeting, you can do it in person or using Zoom. The best tool to manage roles and responsibility is RACI Matrix, which stands for Responsible, Accountable, Consulted, and Informed. And obviously, to create and manage project budget, there is no better tool than Microsoft Excel. So the correct answer here are choices B, define organizational structure, Choice D, assign all tasks and subtasks, and choice F, finish dependencies on time. Do you have a better way to solve it? Please make sure to post your answer in comments so we can all learn. Thanks for watching. If the content was helpful, please give us a like and consider subscribing. This is the way for you to tell us that you need more content like this and we'll make sure to deliver it for you in the future. For links and resources referenced in this video, please check the description. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to find what you're looking for and download the materials. We really thank you for your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.